A film released in 1967 and still praised for not only its style and artistic choices, but its relatability as well. If you've seen this film, you may ask, how is this relatable? Yes, it is true that the film follows a young man recently out of college getting into a romantic relationship with an older woman. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> Aren't you? And in the end, he runs away with her daughter. <laughs> Through the score, cinematography, and especially its editing, it captures the silent and important moments that obtain the feeling of what it is like to be young and confused. Even though there are so many different aspects to make this film as great and groundbreaking as it is, the only thing I believe drives it to this level of greatness was its editing, done by Sam Osteen. There was a special thoughtfulness and development of the characters that brought them to life, in particular, Benjamin Braddock and Mrs. Robinson. She has never given a true identity in the film, as she's only referred to as Mrs. Robinson. Hello. Mrs. Robinson? Yes. It's Benjamin. Yes? Benjamin Braddock. Benjamin, where are you? And we only learn a small amount about her life prior to her family. She is displayed as more of a predator, hunting her prey, rather than a sad and lonely woman looking to fill a void. When looking at Ben Braddock, he is a character who is portrayed as insecure and relatively immature. <laughs> By as many times a miscommunication with Mrs. Robinson, and essentially putting himself in a situation he was never entirely confident in in the first place. He's especially an unreliable character to follow, as some situations appear just as confusing for the audience as they are for him. My favorite part of the film I believe to be the most telling about the main character were the montages which were created a few times throughout the piece. The sequence that I enjoyed the most was the one where Benjamin transitioned from the pool into his hotel room with Mrs. Robinson. He fades to different shots in the pool and it almost seems as if he's in a dream state. He alternates from his own life at home to being in a motel room with Mrs. Robinson, and in each of those shots, he looks particularly miserable. It was especially in this scene that Ben Braddock's facial expressions were the focus and the things around him were changing. An example of this was the use of the bed headboard he was using in his immediate surroundings, which were easy to be substituted for changing location by him transitioning in the same place. The Graduate is a film that obtains more than the eye can see when watching it for the first time. With its use of editing and sound, we are allowed into the world of Benjamin and truly gain a better understanding of the position he is in and even his greatest faults and weaknesses when handling them. Even though the film was executed with techniques and a style which was groundbreaking for its time period, it has become a blueprint for the stylistic choices within movies today and is a film that continues to captivate the young at heart.